Hello, and welcome back to uh, Python as a Language. You'll uh, notice that I'm wearing a hat. Um, and uh, part of the story of the hat is that uh, where I work here at the University of Michigan School of Information, uh, we, my office is in this building called North Quad. And uh, the, we call it quad warts sometimes because it's sort of got a, a square. It sort of imitates an Oxford quad. And so uh, it seemed to me to evoke notions of Harry Potter. And when we first moved into the building, uh, I joked in one of my classes that uh, we should have a sorting ceremony for all the students as they come into uh, North Quad for the first time. And, uh, and so that was cool. And I thought that I would be long in uh, Gryffindor, like everyone wants to be in Gryffindor, right? They're the good guys. And uh, my students told me that I couldn't be in Gryffindor. Um, that I had to be in Slytherin. So you'll see me drinking tea uh, throughout the course out of this teacup. It's my uh, Slytherin teacup. Uh, got, I picked that up from Harry Potter World. I went down to, to Florida and uh, visited Harry Potter World. And um, uh, the reason that I am uh, was sorted by my students into Slytherin uh, is also because I teach Python. And Python is like a snake. And so if you think about the people from Slytherin, they are capable of talking to snakes. And the class that we were doing the sorting was a Python class. And so it, it sort of made perfect sense that you would have to be in Slytherin if you, you were the Python teacher. And of course, your name is Charles Severance. And then that sounds kind of like Severus Snape. And so I just accepted that I'm in Slytherin, okay? So you all can be in Gryffindor, but I can't. I'm in Slytherin. So I'm the bad guy, or the good guy. Depends on how you look at it, right? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you know, bring you into uh, Slytherin as well. Because I'm going to teach you the Python language. Uh, Python is the language that we Pythonistas talk. Uh, it was invented uh, about over 20 years ago by a fellow named Guido Van Rossum. And uh, away we go. Now, even though I'm using this whole snake Slytherin thing, it turns out that Python was not at all named for Harry Potter because Python was invented, you know, almost two decades before Harry Potter was created. And it wasn't for the snake. Uh, it was actually uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus was the inspiration uh, for Python. Uh, the name Python, and uh, because uh, Guido Van Rossum really wanted to create a programming language that while it was powerful uh, underneath it in its very nature was a very powerful language, he wanted it to be a language that was fun. And he wanted it to be a language that was approachable. And so that's why Python uh, recently has become so absolutely popular. Um, and uh, it's easy to learn. And it's, but it's also powerful. And that's sort of the magic of Python, is the ease of learning it, the, 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 the brevity of the programs, the shortness of the programs, uh, and, the, uh, and the power. And so we are going to become uh, Pythonistas. Now, as you learn to be a software developer using the Python programming language, um, you are going to encounter syntax errors. And I remember when I used to get syntax errors, and I remember my first programming class, and I would type on card. And I would um, upload those cards to the computer, and the computer would say, you're not worthy. And I'm like, oh, wait a sec, those are pretty good cards. How could you be so critical of me? Um, you know, I'd say syntax error. And I, I really got sort of a, uh, a really bad attitude that somehow this computer didn't like me and that I would make cards, it would complain, and I would make changes to the cards, and it would still complain. And I'd make changes, and it would still complain. I'm like, how can I win in this situation? And you're going to feel the same th thing. You're going to absolutely feel the same thing. You're going to be struggling. You're going to be like, how come this computer hates me? Let me assure you right now, the computer doesn't hate you. The computer actually loves you. It just is not very good at showing how it loves you or telling you how or why it loves you. And so syntax errors are not so much 
Python telling you that you're bad or that you're an inadequate programmer or you should find something else to do. It's really Python's admission that it doesn't understand what you're trying to say. And so you got to get used to that. And it's frustrating, but you got to get used to the fact that syntax errors are your friend. Python is saying, hey, I got to line seven and I was doing fine up to line seven, but boy, in line seven, there's some little thing. I don't know what the word else means in this context, or you didn't indent it, and so I'm kind of confused. What did you mean? Please, please, please help me, you know? And so it's so much easier for you to learn Python than it is for Python to figure out what you mean when you're writing code. So we have a number of different ways to sort of encode our instructions when we talk to Python. One is we just run Python interactively on our computer. Hopefully by now you've got it installed and you just type Python at a command prompt. So either a Windows command prompt or a Linux command prompt or a Macintosh command prompt. And I got some examples of how to sort of get this all started, get Python installed, and away you go. Now you'll notice when you run the Python interpreter, the three chevron prompt, Python is asking you what next, right? This is you, it's saying, I wanna to talk to you, I want you to tell me some Python to do. If you know the Python language, you know what to say right here. Now, if you know Python, you can type these languages. You can say, oh, x equals one, which really means go find a little piece of memory, label it x and stick one in it. Print x is like, go find that thing where you labeled it x and bring me back that number and tell me what I stored in there. Now, why you wanna do this? That's a different question. And these are very simple things. It's gonna take you a while to get the big picture of why we're doing this. So just trust me that you wanna learn these statements, and then later we will successfully turn those into a program. So x equals x plus one, the third line there, x equals x plus one is not as it seems in math. It basically says, hey, go grab the old value of x, add one to it, and stick it back in x. That's what that means. So the equal sign really has kind of an arrow to it. And then we say, hey, go look up that x thing that we just did and print that out, and then we're gonna say quit. So that's us talking to Python. Now, you can type just about any crazy stuff you want in here and um, Python will be unhappy and talk to you. So uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start talking about the actual language of Python and what it is that we have to say to make Python happy when we're talking to it.